Is it possible that the development and revitalization that we've seen in downtown Florence is exactly what we're about to see on Highway 52? It sure sounds like a possibility. So I am Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, operating out of Florence, South Carolina, the PD and Myrtle Beach, the Grand Strand area. And what we are taking a look at today is an article from SC Now that is very encouraging if you are local to our area or know anything about our area, specifically here in Florence for this one. And let's just read through some of this article. So this is from Audra Grant, multimedia journalist, and it is titled Plans Underway for U.S. 52 City Corridor. Florence City Council's Business Development Committee is in the beginning stages of developing plans for a Lucas Street U.S. 52 corridor that extends from I-95 interchange to one block past the intersection of Irby and Lucas Streets. So we're talking about basically the Florence side of 52. So we're moving from 95 all the way into downtown Florence. And so George DeBailey makes an interesting point here. I wanted to point out a couple things in this article. I'll link it down below. You can read the whole thing. I won't read the entire thing. But it says that it's an interchange that is home to 5,000 hotel rooms said to be the most of any other interchange on I-95. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, that's huge. George DeBailey said, when you think about that, you've got a captive audience. We've just got to get them a reason to come this way. And says that our new mayor, Lathonia Barnes, was at that meeting. So the committee is working with Stantec, a firm that helped the city redevelop land that was being used as a junkyard into the property where Hope Health now thrives on Irby Street. So what they did over there, in case you're not familiar with it, is really fantastic. They repurposed that area and put together a really nice state-of-the-art facility right there on Irby Street which has also been a source that's been very helpful to a lot of our community, I imagine. The planning effort we're doing now is an EPA Brownfield Assessment Grant. It has three areas of focus, community outreach, environmental assessments, cleanup and redevelopment planning, says David Sykes, project manager with Stantec. So if you don't know, uh, Environmental Protection Agency is the EPA. EPA Brownfields are a variety of sites. They could be empty lots. They could be structures or real estate that are no longer in use. Uh, I'll put a graphic on the screen, but I'll also put a link down in the description where you can go learn what qualifies or what constitute EPA brownfields. But these are the areas that they're looking at. And if you see on our screen, there's a lot of different places going down 52 towards downtown Florence that would qualify in this manner. And it'd be fantastic to see these places renovated and repurposed, much like what we saw with the Hope Health that was referenced on Irby Street. We had some really great conversations with the community, said Jenny Horn, an architect from Stantec working on the plan. There also was a good, strong sense of community, no matter which side of the highway we discussed. Lucas Street was identified in the grant application as the target area for this grant. So it goes on to mention Seminar Brewery, and so she said, everybody spoke fondly of the brewery, and that was a good way to help spur some of the development. And so Seminar seemingly, or at least I know my thoughts when it when it first went in down there, is, man, it's like isolated off out on an island. But yet they've been able to do well, and it's been an attraction that has actually brought something that people really enjoyed and saw as a positive out to that area that was otherwise mostly desolate, essentially, for all business purposes, I mean, or tourist or community, anything like that, to see that begin to snowball into more development in that area would be fantastic. And I know that anybody that's local knows and agrees with what I'm saying, that 52 is not really a destination spot for pretty much anything for any of us that are local. Uh, they go on to talk about the sports complex on Jenny O'Brien over there behind New Spring, and it's relatively close in some ways that that could all be connected and tied in together, which makes sense. As she says, I know it could be an economic engine to redevelopment with the corridor as well. I would agree with that. The potential also exists for a nature park with some sort of water feature along the corridor. Different areas were identified for water features. At least one appeared to flow back into Black Creek, said Clint Moore with the city of Florence, identified as a sensitive tributary. So, And then in keeping with that, it says street trees and other greenery is in the vision for the Lucas Street project. And the design will also be driven by challenges of working with a federally designated highway with heavy traffic, truck routes, and emergency routes for things such as hurricane evacuations. Plus, it talks about the railroad that's on the other side. So there's some certain maybe obstacles, hurdles, or probably just considerations into what the development down there could look like because... You have all these other elements in play that have to be factored in. But no doubt there's plenty of room 
to develop businesses. And then they're talking about even the aesthetics of Lucas Street, greenery, water features, that kind of thing that could really change the dynamic. And so I'll link the article down in the bottom of the description. Like I said, here's what my excitement level and hope is for this as a Florence citizen, as a member of this community, a longstanding member of this community. How awesome would it be for 52 from 95 all the way to downtown to basically become an extension or a connection of what we've seen going downtown, uh, going on downtown. That That's what I envision in this is it basically becomes just an extension. And so it wraps all the way around from Dargan Street all the way down 52, all the way to 95. And obviously we're probably talking years, even decades down the road, but they come off of I-95 and they can follow it all the way down from where basically Cracker Barrel sits now. Um, all the way down to Bird's Nest or the Thai House or basically the library. And everything is developed. Everything has nice scenery, attractions, businesses, local businesses. And of course, you know, we love the restaurants here on this channel. So I just think that this is really exciting, a really exciting prospect for a local member of this community. I envision in my mind a situation where maybe it does take 10, 15, 20 years. I don't know. But somewhere down the road, People that have been here for a long time or if somebody grew up here, left and then were to come back, you go down to Highway 52 and say, man, am I even in Florence? Like this doesn't even feel like at all what I remember because it's been completely revitalized and revolutionized down there. And it sounds like that's what the vision is and that's what the goals are. And there's opportunity for these EPA grants. And there are people that are working hard to continue the development that we've seen particularly downtown to spread. And we haven't talked about it on the channel yet. I wanted to do a video and this kind of jumped in line in front of it, but there's been talks about doing development in East Florence, moving out down towards the airport or even past the airport. And of course we know what's going on with the battery plant in North Florence and a lot of the development that's having out there because of that. And there's still so much uh, residential development even happening just surrounding a radius around downtown. But guys, Florence is changing and I've been saying it on this channel frequently. And even with looking at statistics through places like citydata.com, particularly Florence is probably one of the better places in the United States to invest right now. Like I'm telling you, you don't have to take my word for it. And I'm not an investment specialist. I'm a local real estate agent. I'm not trying to step outside of my sphere. Speak to investors locally, ask their opinions. Look at what's going on downtown. Look at the metrics through places like citydata.com and decide for yourself. But Florence has to be for national, maybe maybe even global investors, an attractive place to get in on the action with some of this development that's happening. And so I'm really excited about it. Uh, if you guys are local, I hope you find this exciting. I just wanted to grab this article and get it out to our audience to kind of spread the audience that sees this out a little bit more so that people could be aware of what's going on and just be supportive of it in whatever kind of capacity that is for you. And with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you find these kind of videos helpful, please give them a share and subscribe to the channel because it helps us out a lot and we really appreciate it. And do make sure you're subscribed to stay tuned to continuing content like this and all the other things that we do that we try to put out to our community and beyond. And so with that being said, in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next video.